episode of plants of hope we are going to look at different plants that grow in the wild as well as homes for different medicinal purposes a plant is defined as a living thing that grows on earth in water or on other plants usually has a stem leaves roots and flowers and produces seeds Aloe vera, locally known as chigaji, aloe vera is extremely rich in terms of water content. By consuming it right in the morning on an empty stomach, you are providing your body with a boost of fluids first thing. This will help your system to push out toxins and clear your body of impurities that might have an adverse effect on the organ systems. Due to its soothing, moisturizing and cooling properties, aloe vera is often used to treat burns, improves digestive health, promotes oral health, clears burns, relieves anaphysias and skin diseases. Black Jack, scientifically known as Biden's Pilosa and locally known as Sere, Black Jack is a common plant that is found in many tropical and subtropical areas around the world. This herb is popularly used to treat inflammation, hemorrhoids, fever, and gastric ulcers with reported pharmacological activities and chemical composition that sustain its selection as a potential intestinal anti-inflammatory product. This herb also treats wounds, fresh cuts, diarrhea, eye infections, nosebleeds, yellow fever, and ulcers. Plectranthus cyanius Locally known as Chibwankulata in central Uganda, this plant is an indigenous vegetable that has many medicinal uses, especially for the treatment of common illnesses such as cough, invulsions, malaria, stomach upset, headache, skin infection, asthma, and urinary conditions. It is also best known for treating wounds, sexual appetite in women, blocked fallopian tubes, high blood pressure, diabetes, and low immunity. Lioness ear. Locally known as Echfumufumu, Lioness ear is originally from Africa and southern India. It has become naturalized in subtropical and tropical areas all over the world and is often found along roadsides and in abandoned fields where it can grow up to 3 meters tall. The leaves and flowers are also brewed as a tea for medicinal uses including upper respiratory infection, fever, headache, high blood pressure, hepatitis, muscle cramps, and liver stagnation among others. Imperata cylindrica Locally known as Olusenke, it is planted extensively for ground cover and soil stabilization near beach areas and other areas subject to erosion. Other uses include paper making, thatching, and weaving into mats and bags. Spear grass is highly flammable and even when still apparently green, particularly in tropical climates, it is not uncommon to see hillsides of spear grass on fire. Spear grass depends on regular fires to spread and maintain ecological dominance. Because of its high density and high biomass, spear grass provides a very high fuel load, enabling wildfires to burn faster, higher, and much hotter. It is also known for its medicinal uses such as treating measles, prolepsis, heart problems, and many others. Mimosa pudica, locally known as Mukowe Umbeko, it is also known as a sensitive plant, sleepy plant, action plant, shy, touch me not, or shame plant. It is often grown for its curiosity value. The sensitive compound leaves fold inwards and drop when touched 
or shaken and reopen a few minutes later. Mimosa pudica is not a carnivorous plant. The stem is erect in young plants but becomes creeping or trailing with age. It can hang very low and become floppy. The stem is slender, branching and sparsely to densely prickly, growing to a length of 1.5 meters. The erect height of M. pudica usually reaches around 30 centimeters. It is also known for its medicinal uses such as treating measles, headaches, bedwetting and children that have failed to walk. Well, that's what we had for you today about Plants of Hope. Stay tuned to Egos TV Yugi for more adventurous stories. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like, share and comment. Thank you.